What's up everybody, DJ Creations here, and I want to share my thoughts to you guys about Unemployment Part 2. So, it's been like, I guess, a few months now. I don't know if I would consider fear overload as a job, but I mean, it feels like a job, but I haven't been there for like, looking at two and a half months. Yeah, two and a half months of working there, and I got paid 200 bucks, which is great. But overall, here's the thing, like, people can, you know, turn in a job application like it's nothing, alright? You can, like, throw out tons of those job applications at different stores, different companies, whatever. The only problem is that it varies, you know, it's, you have to do the waiting game, whether you have to wait for a call, and they'll eventually call you or not. Or they give you an email, like I got an email at GameStop in San Francisco and they said in their words, uh, we regret in saying this, but we found someone. And I think of, hmm, you guys regret and yet you sent it to me anyways. How does that work? Um, and I know there are tons of people out there is still trying to find a job, and yeah, it's hard to find a job. Even myself, I'm struggling to find a job. I apply like a lot of places and nothing. And I know a lot of people are saying like you should go to the store that you apply to and ask them uh, why didn't you guys call. There is another uh, reason where people say go back to school. Um, here's the thing. Yeah, I am planning on going back to school next actually this week since it's Sunday this Thursday this coming up Thursday so yeah going back to school again and here I am 29 years old just like you know I kind of regret on a lot of these but I'll talk about that another time about another video about regretting um, and I hear like you know all these companies saying we don't discriminate um, I find that hard to believe now and here's the thing because you know people say they don't discriminate and you know that's the right thing to do is don't discriminate towards anyone period but there are jobs out there that they say we don't discriminate even though you guys secretively do you guys still do anyways you know I've done some time in my life where I was in jail and that kind of destroyed uh, myself in trying to find a job. And I've been implying to say that when it comes to like, do you have a misdemeanor over the past how many years? Last time I put no, I still get nothing. Last time I put yes, I still get nothing. And then back to no again, still nothing. So, I don't know anymore. I don't know whether if I should continue on finding a job or create my own business, but the problem is there's no money coming in. So, now it comes to mind saying, um, should I just start uh, partnerizing with YouTube I do I really want to but I gotta do some uh, you know some more research on well research and questions because I have plenty of questions of for my videos and yeah that's I guess that's pretty much it for now so I'm undecided whether if I should find a job or not should I give up on finding a job I know people, like I said, people want me to go back to school, that's what I'm doing, and, you know, I guess I'll just ask YouTube and, you know, figure out what are the pros and cons of partnering with, with them. 
So with that being said, like this video, make your favorite, subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoy this video for Unpoint Part 2. Um, comment down below what you guys think about this video. You know, uh, am I missing some parts of what I need to say towards it? I don't know how long this video is going to be. I doubt it won't be that much, but yeah. Uh, let me know your feedback. Until then, see you guys later.